I could weep. Uh, I didn't actually cry though, right? I just feel a bit misty eyed. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? The gold one? That's the one I had Pops make for you. Oh, Paimon saw it! It was one of the best ones! They won't forget that anytime soon! <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear! I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. No matter where your journey takes you, and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. You know, Yoimiya, you seemed to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Oh, I can hear you. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky it feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You asked me what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Keisuke and Sakichiro, they were commemorating... Hmm... Oh, yeah! Right! Beliefs! As for me, uh... <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Huh. Paimon was expecting something deep and philosophical. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. But people's feelings don't just disappear. And it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. I think I'll stay here for a bit longer. The show is still not quite over in my heart. Oh, 
but if you wanted to chat, I'll happily oblige. For you guys? I'll do it for free. I did kind of force it on you after all. Not to mention that I dragged you along with me and gave you all sorts of trouble along the way. <laughs> I'd feel bad if I charged you any more, uh. It's fine. Look, how about we make a deal? After you find your brother, tell him to come to Naganohara Fireworks for all his fireworks needs. That way, I'll get another customer. Sound fair? Also, it'd be nice to meet him. I think I'll stay here for a bit longer. The show is still not quite over in my heart. Oh, but if you wanted to chat, I'll happily oblige. Matsuzaka and the others are still waiting for me so we can go hunt down the great Mujina Yokai. I'm like a big sister to them, so I can't go back on my word. Also, I want to go and ask everyone what they thought of the fireworks. And over the next few days, I'd also like to thank everyone for their support. That includes you and Paimon too, of course. Hmm? <gasps>